Hey everybody, welcome to the video. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to put this big uh, plum single bit onto uh, a new handle. I did a video on removing the original handle. I, I did actually save out the original handle. I'm going to have it made into a, a replica. But this is the handle I'm going to I'm going to put on, put the plum on. This is a, a Killinger handle. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Chris Killinger on YouTube. I'll put his website and his YouTube channel down in the in the description. If you guys want to go check out his handle, this handle is a great handle. All of his handles are very thin, feel good in the hands. And I'm going to split wood with this, so I want a, a, a handle that I that I like, that I that feels good. I've done some work on it, uh, some shaping on it. I got a little bit more to go. I'm still pulling a little bit of wood here on this on this edge. So we'll go ahead and clean it up a little bit. See if I can get it to fit on there just a little bit better. Just taking just a little bit of a little bit more wood off of this. I'm just about where I want to be with uh, how far down the the handle the head is sitting. That plum does have kind of an odd shaped eye in it. I compared it to some of the other single bits I have and it's it's definitely a little bit unique. I'm not sure exactly how old that is. It's not, I don't think it's real old. It's, I, I would call it vintage. I mean it's probably 70s or something. I don't know how I don't know the technical old it's got to be to be vintage, but so I'm just peeling off just a small amount of wood. I want to have a nice tapered fit on it. I don't want it to go down and sit on a ledge. I want it to seat down on the handle nicely. I'm no expert at this. Um, I've had this head on and off this handle 15 times or more and like I say this is a this is an axe I'm going to be using so I want it to be right give her a couple whacks here just to see how it looks I think I'm pretty close though I don't know how well you guys could see this, but I'm not pulling wood. I'm a little bit proud here. I'll take some of this off. I think I'll probably just do a little bit of a, take the sander on it, and then uh, we'll get ready to drive a wedge into it. And yeah, it looks, looks real nice. I'll just give it a little sand here. And then we'll get to uh, shaping the wedge to put in there. If you guys are interested, if you want to watch some good videos on hafting an axe, doing it yourself, um, Buck and Billy Ray does a great job, does great videos, shows you exactly what he's doing. And also Killinger, who I mentioned earlier, the guy that uh, sells these axe handles. They both do great uh Great videos on hanging an axe and, and how to do it properly. So I'm just going to hit this here with the sander a little bit. And I'm gonna I'm gonna call this ready to ready to go on. So 
say I'll give it a couple of wax here and then uh, we'll start working on the wedge. I don't know if it helps or not. I use one of these plastic dead blows for hitting the, the bottom of this just to uh, try not to break it. If you hit this off on the side, you could possibly break it. These ones are nice and got a nice chamfer on them, so that helps when, uh, when you're hitting on them so they don't crack a piece off. This handle also does have really nice grain orientation. Just about perfect. So there it is. It's going to be what it looks like when, uh, when I get it on there. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. I'll get the wedge prepped and then I'll uh, show you how I do that. And then we'll see how this thing turns out. Alright, well I got the wedge shaped the way I want it. I do got a little space in the front of this one that I got to try to take up with the wedge. So, so what I do is I just uh, take some wood glue, put some wood glue on the wedge. I think it helps it, it helps the wedge slide into the, the handle a little bit. And it also probably helps uh, keep the wedge in there. So I just smear a little, smear a little glue all over the wedge. I got my glue out of the bottle because the bottle's all gummed up, so I had to scoop some out. And this is the part where I start to get a little bit nervous to say this is a quality handle, not a hardware store handle. When you're dealing with a $12 hardware store handle, it's not quite as nerve wracking when you go to drive the wedge in. But we're going to go for it, see what happens. So I like to just kind of get the wedge started in there. I'll take it out of the vise. I got a hardwood block down on the floor here that I'm resting the handle on. So we'll just start driving it in and see what happens here. Okay, found my wedge driving axe. Let's see if we can get this driven in here. I guess that's as far as she's going to go. I'll go ahead and cut that off, give it a little sand, and we'll see how it looks. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and took it, uh, cut the wedge off that was sticking out, and then just run it over the belt sander a little bit, smooth it off. I'm pretty happy with the, with the way the wedge turned out. And I'm pretty happy with the hang. I'm, I'm not a professional at this, um, but I do like to get a good hang on them. Um, I can't stand having an axe with a, with a loose head. Uh, drives me insane. Some people swing them and take their chances, but not me. So anyway, um, I do burn my handles. And some people do, some people don't. They do look nice unburnt. I like the way they look when they're burnt. And the other reason that I burn them... And people think I'm strange, but uh, a lot of times I'm, I got greasy hands. I'm working on something that's, 
you know, junk and leaking oil and falling apart and my hands are greasy and then I'm, I got my hands on the axe and with the burn, at least you don't see all the greasy fingerprints. That's just my two cents on it. Um, so I will burn this, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this one now. Like I say, I'll leave the uh, Killinger website if you guys want to check out his handles. I know a lot of you guys probably that are watching this probably follow him. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, don't forget to hit them buttons, you know, the likes and the subscribes and all that business. And I uh, appreciate everybody watching. Uh, thanks. Have a great day.